indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have given us. You're such a wonderful God. Hi everyone, this is Katie Lopez and I'm coming to you today with some information about how to legally withdraw your child from the public school. If you've decided to homeschool, uh, you may be wanting to know what you have to do legally um, in your state to comply uh, with the uh, education department to homeschool at home. And that's why I wanted to come to you today with a little bit of information on that. Um, in my previous video, I spoke about the private school affidavit form, which is the main form in California that you have to file um, for homeschooling. But there is another follow-up letter that I highly recommend, um, and I haven't talked to you guys about that yet. So that's what I wanted to do today. But I want to, instead of focusing only on California, I wanted to give you guys, if there's any viewers outside of California, some information that you can follow for your state, um, and it's through the Homeschool Legal Defense webpage. So let me put that up right now. It's called um, hslda.org, and it stands for Homeschool Legal Defense Association, um, and they've been around for a very long time, and they are advocates of homeschoolers. They help us uh, legally if we need any assistance, um, any attorneys or support. Um, if you go to their main website, you'll see there's five boxes um, listing the, the main ideas that they're able to help with. The first one is what is homeschooling, homeschooling laws by state, starting strong, special needs, and high school and beyond. And today I wanted to focus on homeschool laws by state. So if you go to their website, um, you just put in your, um, if you click on the homeschool laws by state, they have a beautiful map there for you. I'm going to just scroll down there. I'm going to click on California, but you can, of course, click on your own state. And for my California viewers, there's seven requirements or seven uh, at a glance ideas to keep in mind as you're homeschooling. Number one, it talks about the options for homeschooling. In California, there's three options. You can homeschool um, privately at home, which is what we do, and that's uh, what my previous video was about, how you have to file that private school affidavit. That's the option number two. And then you can homeschool by a tutor, by hiring a tutor, or if you are a tutor, you have the requirement is that you have a California education degree. Um, so you can either hire someone who does, or if you are as the parent, you can use option number three. Um, the next um, item here is that the child in California has to be six to 18 years of age. Uh, when they are six to 18, you have to declare where they're being schooled. Um, whether if they're at the public school then they have record but if you're teaching them at home that's when you have to declare where they're being taught between the ages of 6 and 18 you have to uh, notification requirements yes and that's what I'm going to talk about here in a second is letting the district know that you are homeschooling through a letter next uh, teacher qualifications no you don't need to have a high school degree or a bachelor's in anything unless you're doing option number three which is that tutor with the California education degree um, state mandated subjects yes actually you do have to teach more than one subject if you're going to homeschool um, they want us to teach on language arts which would be spelling reading writing things like that um, math science social studies health and drivers training so and we can, you can find all this on again on their website the Homeschool Legal Defenses website. Um, assessment requirements, that's if you're gonna do annual assessments like the Stanford or the Iowa State. Um, in the state of California, you do not have to do that annually. Although the public school does it, you don't have to do it as a private homeschool. Some states require it, and even though in California they don't require it, I still do it. I still provide it for um, our children, um, and I can do a video on that later. It's usually offered in the fall and in the spring. so. Uh, but it's not required here in California. And are immunizations required? No, not in California. So um, let's go back up and focus on the notification required. So um, I'm gonna give you the link right off the um, 
Homeschool Legal Defense's website, but I'm going to read it right now. This is where they call it the California Letter of Withdraw, and that's what I want to focus on. So if you've decided to homeschool, you're ready to file your private affidavit, which again is October 1st through the 15th, um, what else do you need to do right now? Um, this is what I would focus on doing right now. Um, if you want to start homeschooling during the school year and your child is currently enrolled in a public or private school, Homeschool Legal Defense Association recommends that you formally withdraw your child from that school. If you are going to start homeschooling after the school year is over and your child is considered enrolled for the following year, we recommend that you withdraw your child before the next school year begins so the school does not mark your child as absent or truant. So I know right now many of the schools have already started actually for the year. So if um, for any reason you aren't, um, so if you are currently enrolled in the public school and for any reason you decide to pull them out and homeschool them during the year, which is what I did one year with our son, um, any time during the year, just prepare this letter, give it to the principal. Um, I don't feel comfortable posting my letter that I used, um, and I also don't wanna take any funds away from Homeschool Legal Defense. So what I would recommend is if you want to become a member, it's about $12 a month, and they have a letter right there for you to copy um, or use and put your information in, um, which they'll provide to you as soon as you're a member. But of course, they have a lot of other support for you as well. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that letter. You, um, so for instance, if you've already started homeschooling but you haven't given the letter to your district, just go ahead and do it now. And uh, in another paragraph here, they recommend that you do it certified mail so that you get some kind of receipt back that they did receive it. I actually walked in person. Um, this was before COVID um, a few years back, but I walked in person to the principal's office, gave them the letter. Um, she, I don't know if she stamped it, but she kept a copy. I think she copied it right there for me to take back. Um, so they have a copy, you have a copy. And I'm not sure if their webpage says this, but what I asked for also was his records as of that point. I said, can I please have all of his records of attendance and his um, information to this point so that I had everything for my son at that point and I didn't have to go back later for it. And then the final thing I wanted to remind you of, um, which I haven't talked about lately, is if you are homeschooling at home, you did the private affidavit, you're gonna do this letter of withdrawal, um, the last thing I would do legally is keep a record of attendance um, and you'll find that on the California Education uh, website. So they want the private affidavit, but they also want a record of attendance. So if you did school that day, mark it on the calendar. If you did not do school that day, mark it as an absence or no school day. You don't have to mark down weekends and so forth, but if it's during the week where it should be a school day and somebody was sick or you had, you know, something came up, family was visiting, you could just say family in town, no school today. I literally just write it on the calendar. I write what lesson we did. Um, and you don't even have, in California, you don't even have to write the hours that you did. Some states require a certain amount of hours per day and you could write that as well right there on the calendar. And then I just keep my calendar from year to year and that's my record of attendance. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Um, take a look at the Homeschool Legal Defenses page if you like for that letter. Um, um, and I hope your year is starting off really well if you've already started or if you're going to start here in a minute. Um, I just wish you the best. You're going to do great. If God's called you guys to homeschool, then he's with you and you're going to do an amazing job. Have a great day.